Oh, sup? What's up, guys? How we doing? How are we doing? I hope you're all doing well. I must say, I must say, guys, we're getting there. We're slowly but surely getting there. Um, I woke up this morning, this is the first morning I've actually woken up in my place. And I woke up in an absolute foul mood. A foul mood. And I can't exp I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you and say I can't explain it, because I can explain it. And there's two reasons, two reasons for it. And uh, look, I'll get into how I got over that foul mood in a second, but really, I got up this morning, I had some drinks last night. A few of you will know, if you've watched my previous vlogs, at the moment, during the first month of me being here in Rockhampton, I have struggled uh, controlling my, my drinking. Now, for the last week, I've told myself that as soon as I get this place, as soon as I can finally sit down and say, this is my house, I can get my kids around, I can move on, I can actually feel like I live here, the drinking's gonna stop. And, and unfortunately, last night, it didn't stop, even though I did move in. So, I woke up this morning, foul mood. Not foul at anyone else, just foul at myself. But then, then I woke up, <coughs> sorry, then I got up, opened my eyes, got up, and started looking around the house um, a little bit more in depth. And I started opening cupboards, and I started looking at different things, and guys, this house certainly wasn't cleaned properly. The surfaces are dusty, there's spider webs, the cupboards, look, honestly made me almost feel sick. I did feel sick, I almost threw up. Some of these cupboards, they haven't been touched. They've literally just given me the keys and said, here you go, and thrown their hands up and, and, and you know, the hard thing is, is that it's really weird. The owner of this unit has decided to rent it through a property, uh, through a, a, an independent real estate agent. Now this, complex of units is, is, is run very similar to the complex that I bought a unit in on the Gold Coast um, in 2016. Now I sold that unit in 2019, but the way that that unit complex was, was run, there's an on-site property manager, they live in one of the units. Most of the owners trust the property manager with their property, they pay them you know, a standard rental fee, 8%, whatever it is, 8% per, per month, and the property managers being on site, they make sure everything's fine. Uh, it, you know, any, any tenant coming in, any tenant going out, they make sure that the, the vacancy rate is low. They also make sure that the, the, the tenants look after the place. They make sure that any new tenant coming in has a spotless place to live, to come into, to begin their lease, and they begin it on, a, on, a good, on good terms. And, and look, I have to be honest, I woke up this morning not only hating myself for drinking last night, but I also looked in these cupboards and I thought, fuck man, I don't even want to bring my kids here. This is disgusting. This is absolutely disgusting and it's not good enough. I tried to ring my property manager. They're not even in Rockhampton. They're based in the Gold Coast. <sighs> but, guys, it's not the end of the world. And all I want from today, all I want to achieve, is to sit down on that very couch, feeling accomplished, feeling as settled as possible and the only way that was ever going to happen is not to sit there with with my head in my hands this morning no it's to go out and and do what i need to do step up do what i need to do make this place a home and that is what today's mission is about so i'm gonna be back with you in probably i'm gonna guess maybe a couple of hours and i will show you exactly what i've done i'll show you both bedrooms um and, and you know, that's it. I'm excited to. If you guys are following me for any reason, if you guys are, you know, supporting me in my life and my journey at the moment for any reason, I want to say thank you so much. I want to say it means a lot. And working through my issues in life through this camera and through this lens and through my YouTube channel and through you guys' support is huge in my life. And it has been for the best part of three years. Um, before that, I didn't really have too much to complain about. I didn't really have too much to work through. I mean, it was, it was a single guy. I had no kids, I had no dependents. All I cared about was myself and it was great. But that's not what life's about. 
That's not a fulfilling life. And I'm finding that out slowly but surely. Anyways, guys, I will show you guys exactly what's happened. I'll show you guys exactly what we're dealing with when I've dealt with it. So I'll see you soon.